All right, guys. Uh, Split Surge Mesmer. Uh, this is the second of the two games today. This one's a really fun one. Uh, the first game I won, but I only got three rating from it. It took me six minutes, six minute 40 seconds, and then I cancelled the queue, and then another six minute 20 seconds before I finally got a queue pop. And uh, yeah, when I won it, it was three rating. It was a really close game as well, so good job to the matchmaker there. But it was a hideous game with terrible plays everywhere, and weird builds, and obviously uh, some strange stuff. We can talk about the matchmaking uh, in the future. But anyway, this is the second game, um, and it's a really, really fun one. Uh, which uh, has got a lot of back and forth and interesting stuff going on. So we are on Legacy as well. Nice to have a bit of a break from Coliseum. Uh, let's just jump on in and see what we've got. So the composition is like okay. Uh, I mean, there's no like formal support, obviously. But we've got, you know, I, I like the idea of a warrior, the hollow and me at a team fight. We've got a thief that can rotate around a lot. We've got um, a side noding capable uh, ranger in theory. Uh, I had some items to pick up from the TP because uh, I keep getting sworn from with shards of glory. I don't know what to do with them, man. Anyway, so yeah, um, the thief goes off too close, which isn't ideal. I would have rathered our uh, soul beast do that, but whatever. So he'll pick up that, and then we can look for the mid fight. So uh, we see what we've got. Well, there's a Condi thief, so he's a good target, um, but he's likely to stealth. And as soon as I think that, yeah, he's stealth. So we can't hit him there. We're scared of getting jumped by him, so we kite around on this side here, staying near our ally and whatnot. I know that one of my guys has gone quite ham, but in theory, he's sturdy enough for that. We next see another good target. It's a rev. So I engage on the rev here. He starts blocking. I see a hollow unstealth and is pushing me. I'm really scared of the hollow. So, uh, while CC'd, I take the Illusory Ambush, which moves me to a safe location. And they're cleaving my stuff really, really well. Um, so I was standing still there. I double jaunt to get the clones back, but then they're dead again straight away. So that was not a very high value. Quite often, that can be a lot higher value than that. Uh, I think why is because the Unrelenting Assault was in progress and sort of ported through. Anyway, my guy's doing well enough to survive right now, and the rev's getting low. We swap to Scepter for the kill. We get it. We take the, um, Stomp here, and I'm gonna, uh, dodge his... Uh, his downstate port ability. I need to learn the name of that. I can't remember what it's called. It, the guy that made Rev made so many big, long, complicated, ridiculous names to all the skills and traits and stuff, and it's really frustrating. Anyway, so we dodge it, but then, like, he auto, auto, and then did it, which, I mean, fair play to him. So he actually manages to interrupt me. Now I'm really scared because he could rally at something. It's kind of really dangerous. Uh, I see that the Condi Thief has jumped me, so I cleanse... I put more evades, I stealth, and then I bail out. And we don't particularly want to cleanse again too quickly. We notice he got the steal on me as well, which is why he's got all these boons. He just immediately did that. Uh, and I'm really kind of scared, actually, at the moment. I'm going to make sure we leave. And then I get jumped as well by the enemy Mesmer, who's also on GS, but is a more standard uh, shatter build, as most of them are. So, um... So far, I'm alright, because a rev I'm happy with in, in any 1v1 scenario that comes up, or, you know, t tight situation, I'm alright with that. I can target a Condi Thief, I can target a uh, Power Mez, so I'm, I'm feeling okay, but the team has lost both side nodes. I've not really paid attention in the game at this point to what's going on on sides, I must admit. Even here on the game of the day, it wasn't my priority focus. Uh, and we can see that mid is in, the, in progress of being lost. My last guy alive, the Warrior, is being forced to kite out. So, um... You know, we got to do something about this. Hopefully, I can rally him in some way. I see that this guy's using the spin, which is excellent. That's some serious bait for my scepter. So, I can kill him with a scepter, but I'm not going to get this in time. So, I just need to pull out. So, we target the engineer really far away to illusory ambush to him, and then we leave. Um, and what we can do is we can jaunt. On so, I'm about to make a mistake, I guess. Uh, we can jaunt, or we can blink on top of that, whatever, if someone's following us. I can also... I think one of these rocks here becomes a no-port spot. Um, but the rev comes, and I was looking at the no-port because I thought the rev might. So, I, I'm actually very comfortable with this 1v1. And I really think I can take it. I can walk over to the mirror there and pick that up. Get an extra ambush. Um... But he, he lands a lot of autos on me that I wasn't expecting. So here, I blinked over here because I wanted to take the fight. If I was fleeing, I could have moved up to this on the other side. He could have ported to follow me or I could have just left. So right now, uh, I decide I'll go for the fight. And I think what it is, is it's his surge of the mist to close the gap. And he gets about a billion evades from a quadruple uh, split surge there. And that actually wins him this 1v1. I distort knowing the shackling wave is coming. So we avoid that. We CC him back. But um, because I've distorted, everything's dead. And uh, yeah, I mean, may a, a swap to Scepter would have won this for me as well. If I'd Scepter 2'd the Shackling Waves, 
we would have had all our stuff. I ran through all the mirrors. I blink back, and uh, uh, the mind rack could have got the kill. But I mean, honestly, he plays better than 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 I was expecting. And it is an easy one v one for this build, and it can be done on this build. Uh, I kill him when I'm dead as well. But the, the mistake was not leaving and assessing that situation, or it, it's more the way I took the the one v one. People are very confident against this build when they don't necessarily need to be. Sorry, I was taking a drink of uh, of. Uh, Cherry Coke Zero, if you must know. All right, so we're um, we're re-engaging on the boards. Not very happy with having died there whatsoever. Uh, and uh, we noticed that we've had some success on the far point. So up here, we've managed to deal with this. And mid is currently open for the taking. So we'll consolidate these nodes. And it's looking bad right now. We only have 16 points. They have 106. This is the point where quite often many of you guys watching, I know you're tempted to do it, people start AFK. And don't AFK. There's always a game to fight for. I'm showing you this game. Not because it's a win. Uh, we won't reveal that. But because it's a good game. All right. And this doesn't look like it was a good game so far. So I was impressed by the hollow here, by the way. Uh, watch this as I come up. Where's the hollow's tip-off that I'm nearby? He doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. I'm on the stairs. He, in theory, doesn't see me here. Maybe he swung his camera. I stealth. And uh, he, he, he notices. And he actually takes the dodge roll like this. Look, and he goes for the line of sight there. And, th and that's beautiful for him to do that. So I don't know when it what it was. Maybe it was one of the animations or something. But it was really good. So I cast the illusory mage. And I could go for that fight, but that's a terrible idea. The hollow will instantly kill me in close quarters like that. So we instead just push forward because I noticed that the warrior got off the node. The warrior's still here. He's hitting the, the wall, right? So the hollow's coming back. So this is really bad. And what's going through my mind right now is, oh dear, because I've just popped, popped the blink for mobility. This is like my safety net against the hollow. Uh, I can't just rely on illusory ambush to save me it, when he gets a melee. So I'm just hoping that the timing has worked out that I can get this neutralized. Because he's elixir in and he's coming in. And then I can leave, right? Uh, because uh, it's not even about the warrior, to tell you the truth. Even the hollow, I would have bailed just from a hollow. I, I can't comfortably fight that with the cooldowns as they currently are. So here, because I'm a Mirage, even though I got Bulls Rush there, I can just dodge and just stand there. You don't have to panic so much. Uh, looking back to the note, though, I see that the hollow's left... And it's the warrior. And I, in theory, can take this. I just have to be very cautious. And the main thing going through my mind is I'm not really playing for a kill right now. I'm just stalling the neutralize. So he gets the tether on me. And I've noticed it. It takes him a while to notice. So this dodge away with the warrior here. And he's going to start walking in this direction now. This is because he wants to pull me with the tether into a final thrust or something. It doesn't land. He's too late with it. He full counters me. His tether is now on cooldown, and I see that the thief is coming in. I actually thought it would be the hollow. So I don't want to fight the warrior now. The node is still neutral, so I'm fine with that. We take the pressure on the thief. The mirror blade misses, unfortunately. Uh, so one thing that's really cool here, I know that that thief is trying to steal to me. When I'm on this rock and he's down there, he can't. It's just annoying, no valid path here. So I'm going to keep playing on these bits of the rock. I should learn this a bit more definitively, because the nav mesh is terrible here. But uh, yeah, I'm standing around. He's stealthed. I even used the um, pushback. Uh, and so now he's here on me. I just chained some evades. My um, ambush is, is really awful there. It doesn't move me into an interesting area. Again, could be because of the nav mage though. So I know he's going to jump in. And I quickly swap to scepter and use the two. Which will um, block it. Which is beautiful. Oh, it should block it. I still got the six confusion on me. That's from his trait. So I don't know. And I, he'll still prop his, prop, proc his thing. So I don't know. Anyway, the warrior comes greedy. And my guy decaps. Which I'm really happy with. The warrior berserks. So we've got to be really careful of the berserk. This might look really bad right now. But I've got enough stuff to get away. Um, we stealth out. Just about managed to. Now we're lucky there. Because I had the mirror up. That could have revealed me and I'd be dead. Uh, we take the port away. And the, the game now is just to get to base very quickly. In case they've noticed and they're following. Now that, that thief with who's already stolen and running pistol main hand. Can't necessarily chase us that well. Um... I mean, he can if he's got a short bow on the offset. But then, anyway, we, we were fine. We get the combat break. We look to swing this fight here. Still really difficult game, right? Really, really, really difficult. We, everyone on my team will have had that thought already where they're like, oh, I don't know if this is a win. So, anyway, we kill this guy. We take the Scepter 3 just to pressure the body. And now it's over Zerg if I continue fighting this here. So, I, I really don't want to. But I notice my guy's low. So, uh, I run in. Now, what the game here, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with this, right? So if you watch, I, I try and leave because I'm like, oh, I can deal with this. But I notice that my guy's low. And as I turn here, the guy dies, right? So I appreciate that because there's a hollow that scored that kill, he can elixir S stomp this. So the situation you're often in with an elixir S stomp, often, is 
the per the, the uh, if somebody tries to res through it, you have to be really quick. If you're a little bit late with the res, the elixir S will go through before. So if someone's a little bit late, you need two players to res. So that that's what I'm realizing the situation is here. The guy goes down, I come in. And in theory, we need both of them. Now, this guy rezzing, if he's too slow, the stomp will go through. But I come back and I can save it. But amazingly, they, he didn't even need me. He was that quick. He was really on it. The, the hollow had no chance there. Absolutely no chance. Um, actually, no, I'll tell you, that, I'll tell you what. It's because there's already two players there on there. I was thinking that. Yeah, it, it, never mind. It's because there were two players there. That's just me getting thrown off. Anyway, that, that was the thinking in the moment. It was a misplay because they already had all the assistance they needed. Anyway, so uh, I come back towards mid. In a way, it's not too terrible me going back there because we get to make a consolidated push together. Uh, the thief got the steal on me instantly again. Um, so I gave him all those boons. He's still on me and he really shouldn't be. He's just going to die if he hangs around here. We chain the two. We walk into one mirror. We walk into another mirror. The rev is on me, so I stealth and pull back. We know we can still kill this guy. So here what I do is I execute the scepter three. Um, but there's a problem with line of sight here, okay? Where... Well, I'll just play it through for a second here. When I'm up here and I use the Scepter 3 and I'm starting the cast now, if this guy kites down this, it will all be obstructed. So what I need to do here, and you can see the cast times already began. What I need to do is not be obstructed during the cast. So I jaunt forwards, but I have to jaunt in such a way. I, I can't just jaunt onto him because that will cancel cast. I have to jaunt to like the side and let it turn. Which is what we do here. And you see my hand is out. My arm is out like this outstretched. That means the animation is still rolling. And what we now do is look at the minimap to see if we can see a dead thief icon. Which just appeared there. So we know he's down. We dodge a shackling wave there. Uh, I'm too late with the... I thought the position of the body would be here to the side. And then we could have cleaved heavily. But I'm too late. The Mesma gets the res. I was attacked in downstate as well. Which is good pressure on a Condi thief really. It can feel that way anyway. So we have to double cleanse. Um... We get rid of the confusion with the torch, which is really nice. But now we have to pull out. And it's another lost fight. So looking really bad. They're now at 250 points. So the Rev is following me. And I, I, I know that he's going to follow me. So I hold the two. What I was doing with holding the about face there is I was watching the port in, right? Because I'm thinking here, this, this port, I'm thinking it will hit me. And he thinks so as well, which is why he's doing it. Which is why I have Scepter 2 up, because then it will counter the hit. But he's on staff, so he can't use Shackling Wave or anything. I still have two dodges, and I can just walk into the node here. He's aggressed very heavily. He knows he's, he's not got a kill here, because I've managed to pull out. All my team is still up right now, so it's not like I can wait on a respawn. So I, I make sure I get the combat break and I walk out. Um, my decision of where to roam here, I go to far, because close isn't that near, and the guy's dying. Who, uh, I think if you watch the minimap, hasn't been doing too good this game. Um... And, uh, and mid is obviously swarmed, so I'm not going to go to mid. So I'll come here. It's a hollow fight, which I don't like. The hollow stealths very early, which is very good of him. So instead, I come this way. The hollow thinks that I'm going to stealth and run over there, which is really good. So we like play a bit of mind games here, a bit dupe. You see, he went back to the node. So we get on mid. Now, I could have ported onto mid. The timing here, because th th this build is so fast, right? He's already back up there. What I want to do is neutralize this. And uh, then go decap him. I miss the newt, which is really unfortunate. So instead, I just come up and decap. But then, so this was probably the biggest misplay of the game for me. Okay, I think. Maybe the death was a bigger misplay as well. But um, I could have decapped this if I ported or jaunted onto it. I want to hold the blink, you've got to understand as well, to pull out and go for the decap later. So that's why we're holding onto the blink and being conservative with it. But here, you'll notice a lot of what dictates where I go is... In, in, in game, in map orientation and camera movements and lines of sight and vision. That's how I like 99%, of, not 99%, but a lot of my rotation is that. I very rarely double check on the minimap, all right? So I know that over here is far. And I'm curious if any other experienced PvPers want to talk about this in the comments, because I do this a lot. Uh, with playing this build, Illusory Ambush, I get turned around all the time. That leads to hideous stuff. Not in this game, but other ones. But, um... I know that that's the enemy territory, so I know, realistically speaking, um, the rotations I care about are behind me and respawns, and we think about it in those terms. So, I don't want to take the fight on this guy. I uh, jump up, and I'm walking over here to decap this, because to me, it's like, well, no one's going to do that, right? But what I don't notice is I've had a thief wasting time breaking gate, which I, I completely disagree with. 
who's now decapping it too. And so this is just a horrible like little... I should have continued fighting the hollow there. Or, or pushed up onto the other ledge to save my guy that just got stomped out or doing any of that. So it's complete like dead rotation for me and poor play. But it's a result of a very unconventional movement from my allied thief there that I, I don't really anticipate. So here, this is really cool. I summon my torch, more Mirage penis, and the uh, Phantasm procs the trap from the thief, the opposing thief, uh, which hits really hard and is super frustrating, by the way. You don't want to blow a mansion from that. So that's pretty lame. The uh, Mesmer stealth bursts me and comes in, so I take a, a triple distort there. The hollow gets me down with his his hollow leap. Um, so that's kind of a misplay from me not seeing... Well, well let, let's let's rewind. Let's learn this here. I didn't see the Mesmer coming in whatsoever. So let's watch, okay? We uh, we do this... Right, sorry that we're, we're watching the same bit of the fight again every time. But let's see. So there's no tip-off for me, the Mesmer. There is a player over there, I can see. But I guess I'm assuming they're to do with the fight. So, yeah, Mesmer... No, it's a misplay. It's, it's de I showed you a game literally, what, yesterday was it? Where I show you the importance of not jumping down under the nose of your enemies. Um, I guess what's going on mentally with me right now is I'm really frustrated at that over rotation with the thief. And I want to get back in and act make some action. So I come in. So yeah, this is a poor play. What the Mesmer's done here is he's stealthed here and he's going to burst me. Uh, and I could have known this. So here comes the burst. I don't get the evade or anything in time. I just want to add something else here while we're at it. Uh, the other reason it's a terrible play is because I never got the neutralized before. So jumping on the node doesn't it doesn't mean I was going to hold that new. And I'm a Mesmer, so I'm reliant on distortion and stealth. So I would have lost the new moments later anyway. I mean, it could have shaved a couple of points, but it wasn't new. Anyway, uh, while we're at it, this thing with the Mesmer stealth bursting me as well. You'll notice here that if all we care about and look at is the couple of frames before the burst and his damage. It seems really OP and unfair. But as we add a little bit more context in, as I rewind and look at the the actual situation, you realise there are tells, there are tip-offs, there was an opportunity, and I can decidedly say, no, that's a mistake from me. Uh, I just really want you guys to appreciate that and think about that. There's a lot of very shallow-minded commentary on places like Reddit, the official forums, uh, where people just kind of don't get that about Guild Wars 2. And there was a really uh, big Reddit thread uh, quite recently of a guy stealth bursting dead eyes and killing them with backstabs, uh, which was a funny video. And, you know, I liked it and I liked the premise behind it and whatnot. But if you actually read the comments on that Reddit thread, it's a cesspit of people who have no understanding of stealth or balance or how things work. What you've got to realize, though, is you're decontextualizing things heavily when you post a montage like that or when you experience against those dead eyes. Now, I, do I don't deny that particularly in World vs. World, there's a lot of really extra cheesy stuff. And really, a part of that and asymmetry is what World vs. World is about thriving on. But when we talk about competitive, serious stuff like here in Conquest, there nearly is always extra context that allows counterplays. Counting respawn timers, understanding the flow of the enemy team's rotation and where you're safe, using your eyes to see that someone did stealth earlier uh, and you can evade it, right? So I, I really just want to make that very, 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 very clear. If you ever want to talk about stealth and stealth bursts and stuff, most of the time it's not enough to just talk about, oh, it can do 30k from stealth, that means it's broken. You know, there's a lot of other stuff going on and, uh, you know, uh, anticipation and prep for those bursts that people just like to ignore, just to crap on that side of the balance. Believe me, I know how ste cheesy and stealthy uh, stealth bursts can be, but nearly every time I see a conversation about it online, people are ignoring a lot of important attributes of the discussion. Anyway. I also double up a distort and a dodge roll there in an unnecessary fashion. Um, so yeah, uh, I die. Uh, we see that we got a ranger coming in, which I'm really worried about. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with this. The thief comes in as well though, and now they actually go for a res. The, the ranger doesn't, but the thief does, which I, I find absurd actually. The ranger still isn't going for a res, which I really wish he does at this point, because he can power this through. And the, the thief actually gets me up, which is obscene to me like truly crazy we pull away and we're just seeing what our target is now there's so many rich targets for me um we see that the thief is here so we we uh we jump in we take some shot as a mirror blade uh we're now in a good position we can cleave a bit so there's a an elixir s hollow resing right now and you'll see the power of split surge here so we take oh i don't know you wait maybe that's later uh yeah no we do we do we do so um you got to watch this very closely to actually see how this, this lands. So we do a ton of pressure, right? 
to the hollow before he's Elixir S, all right, and the body, obviously. Then the Elixir S comes out, and we don't have any fan uh, clones up anyway right now. So I swap to Scepter, and right as he comes out of Elixir S, we use our Scepter plus the cleanse to get rid of the weakness, and the Scepter kills the hollow. It would have killed the thief as well, but he gets like quarter of a second in vulnerable frames as he stands up to stop the instant death thing. So he actually gets to survive there. But I kill the hollow. Um, my team's rotated off, but I've basically got two bodies here because this thief is no threat to me at all. So um, the mage here gets a good little daze where it looks like he should. And procs again the trap. Hollow's down. My ally comes in. We can chain another um, evade and block here. So now we've got two bodies, but the Mesmer's back. And the Mesmer's just summoned his Torch 5 on me. We walk behind the Torch 5 and get the, the blink up. I need to refresh my mantra here. We know that the Mesmer's going to continue following us here. So we just mirror blade that down. Force him to detarget. Back through our uh, Mirage mirror there. And we're holding the Scepter 2 for a block. Then we're going to go into the stealth. And I think the me enemy Mesmer realizes, well, we've just won. And this is a good fight here. This is one of the first power plays you've seen my team's made. Being able to turn um, that lost fight into two kills plus a hollow established on node is, is excellent. Uh, we've also managed to plus because we did that over on close. And we've managed to win close now. So the game is to help our ranger who's co uh, correctly and successfully kited off as well uh, over at his node, which is excellent. So I'm hoping the ranger will keep kiting around the back of this rock here and come up towards mid. Which is why I've done this, because I'm going to come and give him assistance on the road. Give him some cleanse, some counter cleave and whatnot. But then the ranger, instead of coming all the way here, has turned around over there as well. So my positioning here and my stealth burst isn't too good. Uh, now the ranger's turned around again, again. And I can come assist with the fight here. Again, using that straight into a shield block isn't too bad, because what we can do is... What we really care about is clone generation. And this is beautiful RNG. I get this quite often at this area of the map. I actually had someone, a, a warrior, compliment my build when I chased him so hard um, around this rock. Just because Illusionary Ambush is so strong here. So this is the best example. I mentioned on yesterday's game of the day. Game of the day. The range of this thing. So I activate it. He, shield, he saw twos, right? And I activate this at the full 1200 range. It ports me to the other side of him. I mean, actually quite close to him there. But when you get around terrain like this, you can just see the crazy mobility. And look at where this, this clone came. That could have been me as well. So he takes the evade. The full counter doesn't get procced, which I'm really happy with. We interrupt him into the scepter with the divert that had been precast. And we go for the kill with the jaunts and whatnot. Probably a really, waste, a really big waste of resources here. So we evade while we stomp. And we've started to snowball the map now. Uh, which is brilliant. The thief's respawned, and I don't want to fight that, so I pull away, thus pulling him away as well. And now that we're on, he's on his own, we can do this. Uh, we move in, and I think I bait still there. I think we go into his trap, which is kind of nasty. Uh, I kind of just spam the mancha there. Hold the scepter three while in Vaughn. He double dodges it. Hold the scepter two again, and uh, I get a plus, so now he's down. Mid, I could turn around and hit assist here right now, uh, in truth. The Mesmer um, tries to retarget to me. I'm just taking epic cleave over the body here. Just as much as possible. We get so much from Split Surge there. We go up to 25 might. I pour in for the knockback. But I get blinded by his blind distort. Uh, I think he was probably distort resing. And he blinded me with it. Which prevents. And I mean he prevented the knockback anyway with the distort. But we have two bodies there now. Because of all the pressure. The Mesmer once again should realize he's lost this. But he's staying on me. So I just fucking burst super hard behind me. Um get the kill uh, I go down there is actually a misplay if I'd used scepter 2 I wouldn't have gone down there uh, but I I'm kind of concerned about this because I don't want anyone else jumping me so I ping the guy um, just so that he'll finish it off uh, and it's a it's a waste in the end because my thief comes in the thief started rotating really well here I like a lot of what he's done and we managed to sweep the map twice now uh, so now you'll notice the reason we won close during all of that explosion is because the warrior, the enemy warrior abandoned it to break gate and push Lord. So Lord is going to come and play on this game. This is why when I opened today's game of the day, I said it's a really fun game. So I start moving towards Lord because I don't know how many's there. Uh, but then I realize it's just hollow v warrior and I know my hollow will be okay there. Or I hope he will and he'll be able to stall it well enough. So instead of going to over rotate to, to Lord... I don't panic. It's only just engaged as well. So some of the, the minions and things will be up there. And I rationalize I can come to mid. 
And we're going to play some, make some plays here at mid against the Rev, who I'm a little bit concerned about. Um, uh, here we take because of what happened before, but not too concerned. So I take the Torch 4, which gets rid of weakness, which I'm really happy with. Uh, I, uh, and I hold myself in stealth. I don't want to get decapped, though, because we are still, at the end of the day, playing catch-up. He manages to shackling wave me, but because we're a mesmer and we have the higher innate um, tankiness, it's not too dangerous. Here, he almost newts. And I step back onto the mat, uh, the node for the last tick. There's his heal. Now that I've seen his heal, his block, and um, like one of his dodges, I know I'll be pretty safe here. Uh, he jumps in with unrelenting assault. So one of the really nice things about this build is you dodge the unrelenting assault, which gives you the mirror, which means when he comes out of it and he uses his sword two, you actually reflect the sword two back onto him. So uh, we do this, but we get jumped by the Mesmer at the same time. Uh, oh, I think I missed a really nice play here. I think I saw the Mesmer. And I do something really nice preemptive here. Let's watch this very closely. I have three clones up. I'm fighting the Rev here. And I see a stealth. I think this is it. So what I do is I... Do, uh, okay, no. I see I see the mage maybe as my tip off. And uh, I dodge into the uh, distort. Actually, that's not the play. It will happen in a, in a minute later. So I step to two at the end of it because I know they're going to burst me at the end of distort. I get all the evades from it. I do a dodge. I still have a dodge and a blink away. So I'm 2v1. Let's just be very clear. This is me 100% 2v1ing. Two healthy, active, standing players. Uh, and I need to rewind ever so slightly so you can see. As I hit the rev here, because we have so much like obscene cleave with the split surge, we actually chunk the Mesmer really hard there. Even though we were playing very defensive. The Mesmer's been hit extremely hard. So we, we pull away. Um, and I know that my uh, target now, because the Mesmer got hit so hard, is low. So, and I've got the Rev following me. So I take big distance, and I Scepter 3 the Mesmer, and jaunt on him. And we actually kill the Mesmer with the Mind Rack that came out at the end. That we, uh, I guess we did. When did we, when did we Mind Rack? Here, I guess I Mind Rack straight away. Oh, wait, what? Did I, did I summon a clone on him with the Scepter 2, and then Mind Rack it, Mind Rack it instantly? Oh, no, no, no. We summoned a clone with the Jaunt, which we then Insta Mind Rack. And that's what kills him. So we just killed the Mesmer in the 1v2. We still got the Rev following us. Um, so we uh, take the Illusory Ambush back as we're kiting him over here. He's not going to know exactly which one is me. Uh, and that throws him off. See, if he would kept going on me, it would have been... Um, uh, it would have been a kill for him, probably, in a rally. But the illusory ambush, I'm 100% confident this is what happened here. It detargeted. He doesn't know which of these is me. I actually use the um, mind... Uh, mind. Oh, what, what's this called? I keep forgetting the name of this. Anyway, the skill tree, which, which would have tipped him off. But instead, he goes for the res because he realizes the mesmer's down. And uh, we, can, we can cleave these out now. Um, we take the heal. We can go back onto that. And at last, I get a plus here. I would have been fine. I genuinely think this was a 2v1 because I could have stealthed. The Scepter 3 was about to kill him there. We could have moved back on as well uh, to that mirror for an extra evade. And uh, yeah, so because I did this in mids, they never got full cap on mids. Not even at the end of all of that. They didn't get full cap. And my team just snowballed sides. Uh, and that is, after a really bad opening, that is the moment we start winning this game. I know that we're still low on points, but the momentum... Uh, that we have on this map now uh, is just huge. We can rotate into any of their respawns doing anything like that. Like me coming to the warrior here. Really, I want a plus. But the thief's on the other side of the map, which is unfortunate as all hell. So I don't really like this. I don't relish this whatsoever. I'm standing still to throw him off so he doesn't know which one's me. Now he rampages. So this is really nice. He's rampaged, so I have to kite, right? So I distort the boulder. And I think he'll only really get one. And he comes hard at me. So this, I'm very happy right now. I'm smiling. I'm like that picture of Jim from the office smiling. Because he never he never decapped. And I know he he know, he know thinks he's close to a kill here. So I set, uh, I distort the, the rush. I dodge the next one. I step to two. Anything else that will come. And we just bait. And now we, uh, now we stealth. And we just bait him the whole way through. I obviously can't fight that. And he's going to know that with that stealth, he's going to turn around. So... I'm like 90% confident right now the, the warrior isn't on me anymore because I've stealthed and because he, he needs something. And we can see here on the map he's moving back. I didn't look at the minimap at this point. But knowing that, uh, I can maybe go just 100% treat this like the introduction of a fight over, over here. So um, we take the Scepter 3 and it tracks even while he's in stealth that will continue hitting. Uh, because my friend is powering the res, I can go for the pressure here. Oh no, I, I go for this anyway here. And we can uh, res this up. We get the kill. 
Oh, we, we actually missed the res at the last second there. That's kind of kind of clunky. It's fine because we'll get the rally, obviously, right? Uh, here, while resing 100% of the time, I can just dodge roll and do big stuff. Mind rack. And so look at this. What, what did I say two seconds ago that we took the lead even though we didn't have the points? This is why, right? you got to understand how much momentum there is from kills. Anyway, so uh, what is the enemy to? Well, now they're panicking, right? Because they've completely lost a grip on this game. About 200 points ago they did. Uh, but they've noticed that Lord is open because the warrior doing this. And they're over 350. So for any of you new guys out there, you get 150 points for a Lord kill. So as soon as your team is over 350, they can just suddenly end this game. So they're going for Lord. And it's kind of scary because it actually looks like I've lost over at far point. Uh, close is neutral because the guys that were fighting a neutral have abandoned it to go over here. The warrior, after failing to kill me, will have just decapped and gone over this way, right? Um, so I'm a little bit concerned about this because even if we defend Lords, if it's tricky and difficult to defend Lord, we're in a position to lose the rest of the map. We already lost this. We're about to lose far. And then mid is like, well, depending on what the hollow does. So, but I'm not feeling good, but I see that there's enemies over there. So the question is, how many do we want to rotate back on and all this kind of stuff? They've got at least a Mesmer and a Warrior, I know, right? The Mesmer probably looks a little more threatening than he is. So I push in with my Warrior to defend this. And as long as they don't focus on me... Uh, we can do a lot of damage here. Um, so we take the target on the Mesmer, who we know is quite squishy. Great Sword 4. Get all of our stuff up. And um, just kind of pressure out in the area. Kill them both like instantly. You notice it was actually our GS stuff that got both of those. Here I really like this. The, the Lord finishes the enemy warrior off with final thrust. Good job, Red Lord. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now, we, now the job is to get back again. Um, and those extra two kills there, an extra 10 points, extra little bit of momentum for us. Uh, we've reclapped close. We go back here to, um, to an out of position enemy Condi Thief who's on the ledge here. Enemy team can still come back in it. You've got to remember with moments like this, we were getting dominated at the start of the game. That could instantly happen again. But the enemy team staggered and they need to find a way to deal with it. Um, so we get the kill. I don't pressure that. I'd rather rot it for a while. He's low enough. If somebody goes in and then he stealths and he moves, we can deal with it at that point. Like the Mesmer here could jump up and res and that would have been a really good play. We see he's mantering. Okay, so this is the moment. I'm 100% confident and aware of the Mesmer here. I'm hitting the rev and we've got three clones up. So I've seen that he's stealthed and the Mesmer's only going to jump me. It's, it's, it's so sure. So what I do is I'm waiting, you know, a couple of seconds for the stealth to end. And if you watch here... Apparently, no one's on me, but I've just distorted. Uh, I've just distorted, which is a huge cooldown. Gets rid of most of my pressure. I know I can resummon now with the great sword, but I've just distorted. And why have I done that? Because of the mesmer here. So we get involves, 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 and now we just come up onto the ledge, and uh, we continue following the rev the entire time. <clears throat> so we kill the rev here. Oh, no, 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 no. He manages to get around the corner, which line of sight, my greatsword four, which is really nice. But my other clones are still up there, able to do pressure. We come close enough for the illusory ambush. He's in an unrelenting assault at the time, so he gets some free evades. There again, I try and knock back, but I get blinded. Uh, the guy gets rallied, which is pretty unfortunate. I know that I've still got him. He comes down. Unfortunately, I don't have safe stomp here. Or I've got so many things to safe stomp, but I'm a tiny little bit away from the dodge. So I've got to... And he gets it, the timing just right. We go into the air here. Uh, and this is very, very, very difficult for me now. But I can go for the cleave option. And uh, that's what we get. Then we can port. Uh, now, there were two options with the port here to kite away from the warrior. And uh, one of them is actually over here. I could have even done the jumping puzzle. I had a game of the day I was going to show you, but the rest of the game was naff doing this jumping puzzle. Um, realistically, against a warrior, I couldn't have. But the thing is, you get no line of sight for so much of this stuff. I take what is the uh, safer play. It's interesting. If I'd used WS and D here, could I have actually landed up on that? That would have been such a good position. Uh, so, yeah, when I'm getting chased by the warrior, um, we blink up round this way. We go for the hill. We don't need the stealth yet. And now we stealth. Um, we're on Scepter, which isn't too good, really. We want to shatter. So here, uh, we proc the two. We go into the shatter. He he flips all of that stuff back onto me straight away with full counter there, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. Anyway, so he goes down. The thief comes up onto the node, which I really don't like getting decapped here because, you know, uh, it's still important that we win this well. 
But uh, we get lots of pressure there and uh, pretty much guaranteed that the thief is dead. Um, the thief is down, I think. Uh, the warrior vengeance is. So we got to be. Oh no, the thief isn't down. Okay, so the warrior vengeance is. Uh, we retarget to the thief. Take our heal over, over it. I can let him stack condies for a while. It's fine before we cleanse. Then we just sort the full counter. I go down to a final thrust, but it's a vengeanced warrior. So I know I will res when the when the warrior dies. So we, we see that. And we're 100% safe. So now, with the, another 10 points from that 2v2 having been won, uh, we've just won the game. So I'm going to rotate off. And then I realize, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. We just hold close and we, we win this game. So I'm going to stand here. Um... And uh, there's nothing the enemy can do as well. You might think, well, what about Lord? The thing is, the most regular attack that comes to Lord will be through our close, which is right here. Uh, they don't have the other gate down or anything. And oh, oh, I mean, we're talking about a few seconds anyway. I'm just saying, it's 100% safe play. And uh, yeah, we actually turned that into a win, would you believe it? After horrendous opening. So I'll actually show you the point timeline on this game as well. And we get 10 rating. Considering the other game, I only got 3. I'm pretty happy to get 10. Uh, so anyway, we continue climbing. Um, we uh, see on the stats, we did 32% of our team's damage, which is a lot. Uh, 450, uh, 18 kills, that one death, which didn't need to happen. Um, and I'm a bit regretful of a lot of offense as point as well. It wasn't top on the team, but a lot of offense. You tend to find that on this map because the nodes are so big. And look at the, the, the timeline here. We were at worst. When was our lowest point? Probably here, right? Um, this death here is bad because look, the enemy team scores skills, kills, kills, kills. Look at this, four kills that they score. And then look, when was their kill at this point in the second half of the game? They only call, scored four kills in this half of the game, yet we wipe them. At this team fight, this team fight, a few 2v2s here, and we just keep wiping, and so our point just accelerate massively. Uh, so yeah, uh, a lesson for the blue team to be learned about pushing lords. Um... And yeah, a fun game, honestly. Uh, I'm only saying that because we won in the end. <laughs> no, no. Even if we lost over here, if these these little skirmishes went wrong and they won, I still would have felt that we uh, it was a fun game because of the comeback towards the end there. Anyway, so there you go, guys. Game of the day. A bit more split search, mate. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.